decided it's time to get into the world of politics, so I've called over a reputable source to teach me all about the fascinations of this world. Holy shit, not another monkey! Hey, DK, where have you been? Ah, <laughs> uh, I'll keep that between us. Hail to the Chimp. I don't know why I grabbed this game. Oh yeah, because it was stupid cheap, and I was just curious. God damn it, my curiosity is legitimately gonna kill me one of these days, but for now, it brought me a halfway decent party game. Before I go off in this game, let's look at the reviews because holy shit, no one liked this game. The best rating it got was a B plus on 1up.com. Hail to the Chimp was developed by Wide Load Games and published by Gamecock Media Group, and easily could make jokes about both of those names, but I'm gonna be the bigger man today because we're talking politics, baby. <laughs> Released in 2008, it received, as said before, really shitty reviews. Oddly enough, the title is a reference to an episode from The Simpsons titled Dumbbell Indem... In in indemnity indemnity Indem did that 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 one look it up look it up for yourself I don't I'm, I'm tired of reading this stupid script carrying on with the game I am immediately impressed and entertained with this game's title screen normally if a game is stationary the title screen you're shown a reel of gameplay or an intro movie however with Chip you get a legit comedic news report that just keeps playing random news updates with all the animal puns rattled throughout I love this shit I could just sit here all day I love stupid humor I am an absolute sucker for it and this game is is littered with it. I don't know why, but this game oddly reminds me of cell damage. I, I, I can't put my finger on why, it just does. Like, mix it with Mario Party and BAM! You got yourself a political party game, baby! Really think about that. Is there a political party game? No, it's a bizarre concept. It's loosely tied in with a theme of mini games like filling the ballots or removing scandals from the newspaper. What you're doing with collecting clams, kinda like the rings of Sonic, stay stocked and use them throughout each minigame. The few downsides I've discovered about this game is that the camera is drawn back during the hectic moments of the minigames, and I struggle to find my character. Another case in point, when you play the election story mode, you don't choose your character at the beginning of the minigames like you would think. I was confused for about 10 whole seconds! Those 10 seconds were a barrage of, where am I, what do I do? Eventually I figured out that the level you pick happens to be the character you're playing. Also, the mini games aren't exactly explained well enough at the beginning of the stage. But in all fairness, you do get plenty of time to play around and figure out your objective. There are items you can use throughout the games to help you with advantage to win. The levels are completely interactive and have plenty going on to keep you on your toes as you look to complete your objective. All the characters are basically in a Power Stone Rumble fighting arena setup, and even teaming up to do some interesting combinations to help win the level for yourself, which is very unique. I haven't seen something like that in kind of a brawler scenario. When you complete the level entirely, you're treated to some commentating from Mr. Woodchuck Chumley. You also receive an entertaining interview for where you're going with your political objectives in this animal world. So why did this game get such shitty reviews? This is awesome! I mean, throw Power Stone, Mario Party, Cell Damage, and Animal Puns, then hit the puree button, baby! I love this game! I could see it getting repetitive real quickly, but it's at least good for a fun laugh with some friends. Uh, plus, this game has Rusty! I love this goddamn turtle! He's just completely complacent with life, and I could listen to his monotone depressed turtle for days. So at the end of the day, if you're looking for a goofy ass party game for your Xbox 360 or PS3, look no further than Hail to the Chimp, baby. Okay, okay, I feel like I know more about political, uh, politics. Cool, so the monkeys can leave, and I'm good to go! Actually, I have been speaking with Mr. DK, and it would appear that there's some living space in your closet. Good day, sir. Wait, what? You're moving in too? No, c come on! His name is Chip, by the way. Clever, I get it. Chip the chimpanzee. What? No, he's a marmoset, you uneducated twat. <sighs> like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey guys, thanks for checking out another episode. Uh, this one was fun to do. I'm liking the animations. They're progressively getting better, and I'm loving the feedback from all you guys. Don't forget, Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, eh, all the links are in the description. You check them out. Ah, fuck, I just hit the goddamn mic. <laughs> eh, comments. You can comment me too. That's always good.